Okay, so what are terminal initial sides? And you know, when you kind of think of the words um, that I'm pretty sure have a, a, a Latin root back to them, um, we're gonna look at, you know, initial is going to be your initial, where you're going to start the measurement. Because remember, an angle is going to be the measurement between two rays. But if we didn't have a standard form, or you know, where do we start? Where's the measurement? Where do you start and where do you end that measurement, right? So you know, in like a, a line segment, you know, you can start at one end, end at the other end. Well, the same thing with an angle, and especially in in uh, in standard form, we always want to measure it by from the same initial side and from your to your terminal side. So if I'm going in the positive direction of a standard form angle, the initial side is always going to be in this horizontal position, and then uh, as I measure my angle from my, my initial to my terminal, which is going to be your ending ray that you're going to measure your angle to. And the exact same for this ray, here is my initial side, and then that is going to represent my terminal side. So that's pretty much how what a terminal and initial sides are. Initial, remember, is your starting side, and it's always, if you look back at, um, if you look back in standard form, your initial side is always going to be on your x-axis or in this horizontal direction, or direct, um, horizontal position, and then your terminal side is all going to depend. If it's a positive angle, it's going to open up uh, counterclockwise, and if it's a negative angle, it's going to open up in the clockwise direction, where that is negative and that would be positive. But either way, where the angle ends is your terminal side. So thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if you have any uh, comments or questions down below. Thanks.